Hey everyone, it's Kevin here with Views About Anything, and today we have my Sony uh, WF-1000 XM3s. So these are the true wireless flagship in-ear uh, headphones from Sony. I've had these for about six months now, and I thought I'd give you guys a review on how they are after six months. So first, let's get the negatives out of the way real quick and get into the immense amount of positives we have here. Uh, first negative is the size of the charging case. Not a fan, it's a very big charging case. Uh, it's pocketable, but it's not like easy to fit into like the coin pocket in your jeans or anything like that. It's you know, just big in all dimensions. I do wish it was smaller. Uh, second is the earbuds themselves are quite large as well. I did know this going in, of course. There's a lot of technology in these, so I get it, but with other earbuds, you know, catching up to them that are much smaller, I do wish these were smaller. Uh, you know, I guess we'll see with the Mark IVs, but that is something I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, other than that, that's really my only two complaints. Battery life is phenomenal, sound quality is phenomenal, ANC is fantastic, so the active noise canceling. Uh, can't speak enough good about that. Uh, I guess this matte rubbery kind of material on the case I'm not the biggest fan of. As you can see, it's starting to wear up there and there's nicks and scratches kind of everywhere as well. Uh, I kind of wish it was maybe more of just a hard plastic on the whole thing, like this top part. Not glossy, but maybe like a, a matte texture or something like that. Uh, that's really, those are the only complaints I have. So the size of the case, this bottom kind of rubberized paint that they have on it, and the size of the earbuds. So if those things don't deter you, I highly recommend these. I purchased these as a secondary pair of headphones. I use these at work, I use them for conference calls, I use them for uh, walking around, I use them for when I'm in the grocery store because the transparency mode on these are phenomenal. Um, I use it, like I said, to take calls and everything and listen to music. Uh, they're just really convenient when you're working and moving around in the office, you don't have any cords or anything, or big headphones on top of your head either. Uh, of course, I do have another pair of headphones I use for when I know I'm going to have long days of conference calls. Uh, these can get a, you know, just like any in-ear, something sitting in your ear all day can get a little irritating for some people, it does for me. So over ears are the way to go for that, but for just daily use, walk around the office and uh, you know, just to throw in something to listen to when you're walking through the grocery store or whatever. These are phenomenal. The app that comes with it's pretty good. The EQing is pretty good. Um, they have different presets. There's different things you can do with it. Pairing's really easy. You can use each bud independent from the other, which is nice. The charge case charges a bunch of times, uh, which is nice as well. I think about three times it charges it. And these have crazy battery life. I think they rated it at a seven, but I swear I get probably about 10 hours out of them because uh, I can go a whole day at work and also go to the grocery store and some other places and get home and they're still, you know, fully charged, never taking them out of my, or not fully charged, but they still have charge, uh, never taking them out of my ears. The active noise canceling is by far the best I've ever experienced. So I compared them to a pair of Audio-Technica noise canceling earbuds. I've compared them to the uh, Apple AirPods Pro. I've compared them to the Jabra uh, Elite uh, 80 or 75 Ts with the update for that. I've compared them to the uh, Bang & Olufsen H9Is that I have and also the Jabra 85 Hs that I have. And even compared to the over-ear headphones, this still has better active noise canceling than those. Sony has just done their the their active noise canceling chip, the the software uh, and the microphones just phenomenally. So if you're looking for active noise canceling headphones, this is the way to go. I have not used the Bose ones, so I can't compare it to that. I know those are supposed to be close, but from most of my research, they say Sony has got it on Bose right now. So if you're looking for in-ear headphones that you can use for pretty much any occasion, walking on the street, going to the grocery store, at work conference calls this and that. These are the ones that I really like. 
The Jabras are very close, the newer ones. I have the old 65Ts, I've used the 75Ts as well. They're very close to active noise canceling, it's not as good. The microphone quality on that's a bit better uh, for if you're gonna make a lot of phone calls and conference calls. But if you're just doing occasional you know, meetings and phone calls, uh, these microphones are perfectly fine. Uh, I've been told that this actually sounds better than my Samsung Note 10 Plus's microphone. So take that as you will. Other than that, like I said, I love these headphones. I use them every single day. They're phenomenal headphones. They're, you know, they pair instantly. I've had no issues with pairing. I've had no issues with fit. They're a little bulky, obviously, here on this end, so I don't use them at the gym for that reason. And even just walking around, I maybe, if I wear them for four or five hours, I adjust them maybe once or twice, but other than that, it's not bad. I really like these faux rubbery foam kind of tips they have here, they're nice. The touch controls work very well. Uh, I wish it, there was a bit more customization with that, like if there was swiping and other things than just the taps, but you know. Other than that, that's really the only downside there. The touch work very well. I, I never have any issues where they miss touch or do something I don't want to do. So if you guys have any questions or want to see me compare them directly to any of those headphones that I mentioned, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, other than that, like, subscribe, and you know, I'll see you guys in the next video.